Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at something called format specifiers or formatting specifiers. So uh, earlier on we created this project called Converting Temperatures which converts Fahrenheit to Celsius. So I copied that, pasted a new version of it into the uh, workspace here and I called it Format Specifiers. So it's the same project at the moment. If I run it, um, we get the output but the problem is that uh, we get me much too many decimal places here so it's unnecessary and it doesn't look very elegant and we're going to see one way to fix that so what we want to fix here is not the number itself but just how it's displayed one thing I noticed is that I forgot to create a package when I created this project so um, it says here default package and that essentially means that really my code is not in a package Packages are things we use to just group um, collections of code files together. At the moment, we've only got one file in our project. I'm going to fix that, and it is easily fixed. I'm going to right-click the project and go to New Package. Create a package. I'll call it Application. Click Finish, and then I'm going to drag my app.java into it. And Eclipse automatically adds package application at the top of the file which which has to be there if it's in a package called application okay now in this uh, project we're using system.out.print line but there are um, some other variants of this so for example let's do a sys out here and write hello and I'm going to copy that um, I've uh, previously steered clear of the command to duplicate lines because on computers I've used before it tended to get intercepted by the system and do strange things like turning the screen upside down but it seems to work on my current computer and if you want to duplicate a line hold down option and control or on the Mac option and command and press the down arrow so that duplicates a line so it's option control down arrow or option command down arrow on the Mac if you want to duplicate a line. Okay, so if we run this now, let's save it, we get hello, two hellos, each on their own line. If I change this, so instead of having print line, print ln, I have just print. What happens is that we don't get that invisible new line character, the non-printing character, after my hellos. So if I run this now, we can see that they're both on the same line and that's sometimes very handy, very useful. What we're, we are going to use is something else called printf. Uh, printf is um, or something similar to this or at least something that can make use of the formatting specifiers that we're going to see is found in many other programming languages as well. Originally I think it comes from C. Uh, maybe there was something before that, but C has printf. If we run this uh, at the moment, it's unchanged. It doesn't look any different. And it doesn't look any different. Now, because I um, because we've lost the new line, I'm going to put it in manually using a control character, a control sequence. Let's put in backslash n at the end here. Now, so now that is then equivalent to um, to just using print line, really, print ln. So there we go. It's back to how it was to start with. Uh, so you're, you're probably wondering what's the difference between print and printf, because neither of them output new lines. The answer is that with printf, we can use this thing called formatting specifiers. So supposing I wanted to say something like this, hello 1.23. And we run that and it's fine, hello 1.23. Supposing I've got more num more digits there and I run it and it's outputting what I told it to. But now let's supposing that we got this 1.2345 whatever in a variable. Uh, so let's say um, we've got double value. I'll call it a generic name value because I, I just don't know what it's supposed to represent here. Let's put that in. Um, now, supposing we want to somehow use this value in our statement, how can we do it? Well, what we can do is, after hello, where we want the value to be output, we write 
percent F. And then after this string here, we put a comma and we write value. Let's take a look at that. So now it looks similar to how it did previously. We're outputting it. Uh, so what this is, is we call it a method. It's a subroutine. And um, these are values we pass to the method that change how it works. So we call them method parameters. It's a bit like if you have a sort of synthesizer, you can, if you've ever seen those, you can sort of tweak knobs on them and change parameters and they change um, what noise the synthesizer makes. I'm talking about a music synthesizer here, of course. It's the same with methods. These are, we actually call them arguments. So we say that the method has some parameters and we can, we can therefore supply arguments to it and they change what it does. And here we're supplying a string and then after a comma, we're supplying another argument, which is um, this double value here. And one great thing we can do is if we look at this, we can put, we can change it to percent, let's say 0.2 F. 0.2 means we want two decimal places after the decimal point. Let's run it. And then we get hello, one, two, four. So um, let me give you a little exercise at this point. Change this line here in our program so that it outputs um, the value in Celsius to two decimal places and also make it output the value in Fahrenheit to do two decimal places as well, if you can. So I think we'll look at that in the next video. And just, just for the moment, I want to give you a couple of other things you can use. So um, let's say you want a, um, not a floating point value, but an inter integer value. And we, we can just even type it directly here. Like for example, 123. We want that to be output after this hello. We can use percent %d, which I suppose stands for percent decimal, meaning it's a number in the decimal system, base 10. Uh, and this, uh, where we see this, that will be replaced with this argument that we've supplied here after the comma. So it's the second argument to the function. That outputs hello123. And we can also use percent %s, which is a bit less useful, but there are circumstances when it's useful. Percent %s outputs strings. So we could write this as percent %s, percent %d, and then the first argument is going to, um, the first argument to this method, printf, sorry, the second. So this is the first argument. Then we have another argument here, and that's going to be a string. And that's going to replace the percent %s. And then the third argument, 123, is going to replace this percent %d. So it's going to say, hello, 123. Let's, let's try this. Let's run it. Save it first. There we go. So it works. Um, so uh, try that for yourself. Uh, tr try this, you know, try typing it out, put some different values in. See if you can think of a way to experiment with this a little bit to change it slightly um, and see if it still works how you expect. And also see if you can modify this program to um, output Fahrenheit and Celsius, or at least Celsius, to two decimal places. See if you can figure out how to do both, and if not, at least do the Celsius. Try to figure that out. Okay, uh, we'll look at the solution in the next video. Until then, happy coding.